Alright, look at him taking some damage. Oh, he's healed. Oh, he's taking more damage. Alright, you know what? Let's get that second, uh, let's get that second cleric, right? What's up, Hearthlings? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Stone Hearth Let's Play. Last video, we organized a bunch of stuff into all of these nice, tidy chests. We've actually got our stockpile almost completely gone. Let's take a look at it really quick. Uh, stockpile... There we go. Nope, that's not a stockpile. That's a stockpile. Okay, I can't see the stockpile because I deleted the stockpile. I forgot. So there you go. Stockpile is gone. We're organizing stuff in chests. This video, we're going to talk about our worker buildings. I want to make some worker buildings. Um, as a matter of fact, I got one right here. I actually want to cancel that. Uh, remove. There we go. Um, I've got some worker buildings. I, I kind of want to make my own buildings, but I, I don't know. Like, I don't feel like I'm that good at it yet. But, um, I think we might make some of our own buildings today. Maybe we will have to see. First of all, uh, if you have, if you end up enjoying the video, please remember to give it a like. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. So let's get the road to come along here and go right around here. So I think what I want to do is let's go ahead and plan out some more pieces of this road. I'm going to go to buildings and roads, and those are the roads. So I want roads. What are my roads? Like five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they're five. All right, so I want to be around here. We'll put it right there. Go right by the... Okay, so right here will be a road. All right, five by 43. That looks good. And then we'll have this one come up like this. Five. Uh, oh, stuff's in the way. Oh, yeah, stuff's in the way. All right, well, we're going to have to move that stuff. All right, guys, get to work on the roads. Finish editing, build, yes, and finish editing, build, and yes. We're also going to need to have these guys do a lot of mining to get a bunch of the stone. Um, I want to really make this cliff face right here flat. So I think we're going to work on um, going ahead and mining this as well. Let's see if we can do this. Um, yeah, we can kind of do it. Yeah, why not? Go ahead, do that. I think they might climb up here and come over here to uh, mine that. I'm not really sure. We'll have to see what they do. Uh, we are getting another person. No, we're not. Okay, so that's cool. All right, so no other person. We're still going to sit at 19 people. We are also waiting for... Well, actually, no, we're not waiting for anything anymore. I think my farmers are the levels they need to be. Let's take a look at my farmers. I haven't made a video in like a week because Seven Days to Die came out, guys. So just bear with me. All right, so my farmer is... Nikki's going to be a farmer. And Wolger is going to be the cook. And I think Wolger is now level 3, so he's good enough to be the cook. So let's change jobs. We will have you be a farmer. For now, we'll go with a worker for Nikki Ann Marie. And she'll give up the spoon. Once she gives up the spoon, we'll have Wolgar be our cook. Um, yeah, because the, the cook, if I remember correctly, the, my idea of making him the cook was that the cook doesn't the cook does not need spirit the cook does not need body the cook just needs to level fast i mean i don't see how body or spirits can help with the cook in any way this guy will not make any good kind of tamer he doesn't work well with animals he can't be a fighter so he he will make a pretty good cook plus he's got the heart of the crafter all right so let's go ahead and make you the cook and as soon as he puts down the hoe for show we will uh, go ahead and make nikki and marie the uh, second farmer. And our farmers are now all taken care of. Nikki and Marie changed jobs. You're our other farmer. Um, I don't know if body matters as far as farming goes. But I think the reason I wanted Nikki and Marie as a farmer is because she's pretty much straight across the board. And um, I, I actually, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I know body doesn't help farming. But it makes him faster. So that, that actually does help farming in that way. So that is interesting. Okay. Um, can we pick these up? We cannot because they have stuff in them. Uh, what are these? These are the cooking stuff, right? Okay. All right. So I think what we need, we need, really need to move this stuff out of here. Let's go ahead and move this over here. Here we go. Let's move this over here. Move this over here. We basically want to start making buildings for all of our characters. So that's the idea. We can't move the, we can't move the chests yet. Because they have stuff in them, which is going to kind of be annoying, but that is okay. Alright, so let's go right here. Let's make our road, and there we go. And we can fill that in later. Mm, there we go. Okay. Actually, we could probably just move this right now, right? 
There we go. Someone will move that. And then we can make the road going through here. Uh, I don't know if I want to put anything right here. I guess I could put the cook cooking building right here. Um, now, the, building I'm, the buildings I'm looking at, the blacksmith and the carpenter's house, look awesome. Look at the blacksmith. Like, I'm not going to make anything that good. That's ridiculous. Um, and the carpenter's house looks awesome, too. But I do want to make a cooking house right here. Um, I think I will leave that alone for now, though. Um, oh, we never finished. Yeah, I always forget to finish these builds. Finish editing build. Yes. Are they mining this? They did not mine this. All right, I think they can't... I don't think they can get to it. Although, they should come up here and come over here to mine, shouldn't they? Do you think they're mining stuff down below? Yeah, they're mining stuff down below. Okay. We'll give them some time to mine that. I would I would prefer them to walk up the staircase I have over here and mine this. But they don't seem to be wanting to do that. We'll give them some time. We'll give them some time. All right. So that's good. So we got that out of the way. So let's go ahead and finish up this road here. Uh, road. This goes right here. Uh, finish editing. Build. There we go. What just popped up that I missed? Uh, a trader. Okay. What do you got for me? Uh, four wooden swords and give me four... Wooden garden lanterns. Eh, whatever. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I won't. <laughs> I don't really care much about that. Oh, what's with this? Oh, no. That's going to bother me. All right, guys. I got that road rebuilding. We're going to go ahead and bring this stuff up here. Like this. And that's eventually going to be another road. There you go. Build that. Yeah, start building. And then we're going to put our first building right here, probably. Let's wait for them to build that road. All right, where's your backup, man? Hey, Weather Witch, where's your backup? I don't know. They must be sleeping or something. Um, we can go ahead and harvest these flowers as well. There's a lot of stuff over here because I have a lot of people building roads. Um, I don't think there's any bad thing to having st like stuff on the ground. I don't think it's like a huge deal, but who knows? Looks like all these farms aren't being replanted. I'm not sure if my farmers are just slow or what. I mean, one's level two and one's level three i mean you know it shouldn't be too bad all right so they got that road all right so let's go ahead and put down one of these buildings here all right how about the carpenter's house first all right so let's uh how do we swing this around is a period yeah um that looks pretty good now this is a house too i really like the, the look of this house how far do i want the houses off of the roads what is this one two three four five all right five off the road so why don't we build the road for now? We'll build the house first. All right. So, carpenter's house, build. All right. So, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, fine. Looks good to me. Build it. Start building. All right, now in order for me to um, build my own building, I'm going to need certain things. And uh, basically what I'm going to need for the building I want to build is I'm going to need backups of everything, right? So what I'm going to need is, let's take a look at our carpenter and let's see what we're going to need for the building I'm going to build, all right? I'm going to need a um, cooking thingy. I think that's in the mason, right? No, that's actually probably the cook thing. I'm going to need a, um, a stone cauldron. Uh, go ahead and make a stone cauldron. A meat grinder. And a stove oven. Requires cook level 2. Oh, he's, he's not level 2 yet. Okay. Ooh, can he make these things? Yes, he can. Okay. Good. Yeah, yeah, we don't we don't have anything. Yeah. Uh, bad sign when birds stop. Uh, my guess is goblin wolves watch your borders. Don't want to fight them. Stuff like that. Okay, so we do have some goblin wolves in the area. I think if we, like... Um, break them out of their cages or something. They won't attack or something. I don't know. By the way, look over here, man. Look at this. This looks badass, man. Freaking crypt. Woo! I do not like that. So where are these goblin wolves? Yeah, something like, I probably should have read that, but it's something about... Here, hold on. No, it's not there. Something about um, if you break the wolves out of their cage, they won't attack you or something, but I don't know. Whatever. I don't see them. I don't have time. I don't have time for this, man. I'm trying to build a freaking town here. You know? All right. So they're going to go ahead and build that. So that's fine. This stuff is still sitting on the ground out here. I don't know what Mr. T is doing. Oh, he's the cook. So he doesn't need to cook. So he's helping with the farming. So that works. 
And we got um we got a voice voice you um just sitting out by the fire. That's pretty cool. All right, so that building's gonna be done soon. And we have every, we're gonna have need for the cooking the other cooking building. So basically, whenever I want to make a building, like let's say let's say I wanted to make a, a cooking station right now, a building for the cook, right? I would make it, but I wouldn't have the materials to put down. I think you should be able to put ghost materials down, personally. Like if I wanted to put down like um, you know furniture, I'd have to have it in my inventory. Um, I think you should be able to. Oh wait, actually no, this stuff is down. Maybe I don't have to have it in my inventory. Um, well, let's start working on that one. Well, no, you can't, can I put, no. See, you can't make a building and then add on to it later. That's another thing I would like to see change, at least if you can. I don't know how to. I'd have to make the building all at once. So I think we're going to put down the two, uh, these two buildings first. We're going to put down this and the blacksmith building, the two prefabs that we have. And then I'm thinking maybe next video I will, uh, I will go ahead and make a, uh, a building for myself and see how it comes out. I just don't think it's going to come out that good, but whatever. One, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one right, right there. Um, actually, do it like this. This is the easiest way. Okay, so that's pretty good right there. So, one, two, three, four, five. Works for me. All right, you guys got your work cut out for you. All right, guys, um, I just noticed that our herbalist is now level two, so they can take over as our cleric. Um, but we also have some invaders approaching. All right, we got some wood guys here. We got some little wood guys and some big wood guys. And let's go ahead and get this out of here. Let's grab our fighters, our combat party. We're going to ring the bell, and then we're going to bring the combat party over here. And let's attack the big boss. All right, go get him, guys. Where are you going, punk? Daily update: we have a new we have a new person. All right, so what we'll do is we will pause this really quickly, and we will pick this person. And what we'll do is, and you guys told me you guys told me about this. Like, what I should do is when someone comes in um, that's new and needs a needs a name, just put a uh, put a dash, put like three dashes after his name. And then I'll know that I have to rename that person. Okay. So how's our fighters doing? Um, they seem to be doing okay. Probably should go after the little guys first, but I don't know. It doesn't seem like our guys take any damage anyway, so. Where's my other fighter? Oh, yeah, I do have two fighters in there. Okay. You know what I need? An archer. Is any of these guys ready to become an archer yet? Uh, well, nobody do you need to be an archer. Actually, I need to make the, the archer bow or whatever. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, we do have an archer's bow. And I can make a recurve bow. So let's go ahead and make a recurve bow. And let's put that up to the top. This guy's making a bunch of stuff for the buildings that we're making. But that's okay. I'm going to put this up there first. I want that bow done first. Okay. And let's send everyone back to work. Okay, these guys are getting smoked. None of my guys are even hurt. Man, my, dude, my healer is just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. All right, hurry up with that. Kill him. Kill him, damn it, everyone's eating. I'm gonna need a bigger, uh... I'm gonna need a bigger place for them to eat, by the way. Okay, is everyone dead yet? Come on, end him. I really need an archer. Archer's for DPS, by the way. There you go. And I want you guys guard up there. Winning is a cleric level 6. And I'm about to replace her. I could always use two clerics. Maybe I should just keep two clerics on at all times. That just seems overkill though. My guys don't even get hurt, right? So why have winning as a cleric? Why have two people as a cleric? I think we're going to take winning off cleric. And uh, it should, honestly, she's not really good for anything else, right? Well, she might be good. She might be a good trapper. Was she gonna? Be, was winning gonna be my trapper? Um, Queen Shady's. No, Queen Shady's is a trapper. You know what? Winning, just stay on. Just stay on. You know what? Let's just have two clerics. Who cares? Um, I don't think I'm ever gonna need any two clerics, but who knows? We might. So let's go ahead and make another cleric book, and then we'll just have two clerics. The hell with it. Okay, speed it up. Speed it up. And can we make the archer yet? 
Let's see if we can make the archer. Who's going to be the archer? Uh, well, definitely not Caleb. Honestly, Caleb isn't even that great with four body, but I'm going to leave him where he is. Next next time I play, next season, next time I start a new world, I'll make sure to pick the right people um, for that. Uh, Weather, honestly, Weather Witch should be where Caleb is. All right, let's see what level you have to be. Uh, you have to be a level three footman. Can she change? I think she's level three, right? Oh, God, level four. Okay, so Caleb, you are going to go to Archer. Actually, went somewhat a high body for Archer as well. The thing is, the thing is, uh, Weather Witch will do more damage and take less damage. So I think I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna put her as the archer to hell with it. That way she'll do more damage than Caleb anyway, so. Alright, we now have an archer, and that is wonderful. That's gonna really up our damage output, and it's gonna be awesome. Hey man, are these buildings done yet? What are you guys doing over here? Come on, bro, move it. Alright, what's this all about? A message appears on an arrow. I'm oh, sorry, a message on an arrow appears on your banner. These wolves are in the forest. Goblin wolves, get them before they get you. The one who watches you. Okay. Alright, so oh, there we go. So these are the ones I was telling you about in the cage. So let's get our let's get our guys over here. Uh, combat party. Attack. Uh, attack this guy. Let's get him. Let's do this. Are we gonna be able to get down here? We should have a ladder around here somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, I can get down there. Yeah, there's a ladder right there. Alright, guys, it's on like Donkey Kong. Nope. Okay, you're just gonna run. Okay, fair enough. Attack the cage. So if we let the wolves out, they won't attack. They should just run off or something. All right. So, uh, well, actually, they look like they're attacking. I don't know if they're attacking. Terrifyingly ferocious. I'm not really sure where they're going. If you break them out of their cages, they're not supposed to attack. At least, yeah, joyfully from their cages. Yippee! Okay, so they're happy. So they're not gonna attack. All right, why don't we, um, why don't we defend this location? I don't want my guys going anywhere unless goblins come in the area. All right, so why don't we attack this thing? Break open the stuff out of the chest. There we go. Lots of stuff. Our guys should come and pick that up. Also, all right, we're just killing everything now. All right, so also we'll uh, probably grab all this wood. Um, let's go ahead and break. Let's go ahead and break this out. Break this out. There we go. Yeah, Archer's badass. What is that? A broken flute. Okay. Also, we are going to want to loot all of this stuff. Uh, we could also probably break that skull thing on the ground. Get it. Get the skull thing. Okay. All right, very good, very good. So what I want you guys to do next is defend this location. All right. By the way, uh, the KW Cox's house is now complete. And that's what I'm saying. This is a really nice house. I can't build anything this good. So <laughs> it's just kind of, you know, it looks awesome. Uh, hey, why is Voices eating in KW Cox's house? You know what? Let's make sure KW Cox is the only one using this bed. All right, so um, because this is a... Yeah, this is this is the carpenter's things, and KW Cox is our carpenter. So where are you, KW? Kenneth Cox. Nope. Oh, wait, what? What happened? Uh, sign owner. Select. There we go. So now he'll be the only one to sleep in there. So that's nice. And the next place will be the blacksmith building. And then I think next video I'll try and build my own my own place. It's not going to look anywhere near as as good as these. I think my blacks I think my um my cook place is probably going to be a lot like this. And what they do is they make it so the basically what they did was for these prefabs they make it so the building that you craft in is where that crafter lives. And I really like that idea. Um, by the way, this roof here won't disappear because it's a flat roof. It's kind of annoying, but you know what are you going to do? Oh, man, look at this. Man, this looks cool. Oh, man. This looks so awesome. Oh, look it up here. Wow. Damn, that looks good. Oh, look at this, man. I like that. 
a trader approaches. Um, six wooden swords, two large crates, two large crates. All right. We will make the wooden swords. Maybe I don't really know. Tra I don't really care, honestly. I don't really need that stuff that bad. Um, I need um, I need other things. I need furniture for these houses first. So is there supposed to be something in the back? Yeah, there is. There is something in the back. Okay. So I think this one's just about done too. So this is a blacksmith house, right? Yeah, blacksmith. Okay. So let's uh, let's assign our blacksmith to be the only one to sleep here. And who is my blacksmith? That's the uh, that's not a blacksmith. Um. There we go, Jonathan. There you go, buddy. You got your own bed. Hope you're enjoying it. All right, looking cool. What we got over here? Oh, we got a skeleton over here. Uh, I think it's time for my guys to come over here and lay a little bit of whoop ass on this guy. What is this thing? A giant zombie. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see about that. I think my guys will take care of the giant zombie pretty, pretty swiftly. Get him, Archer! Man, the Archer just does so much damage. It's wonderful. Look at this. You got nothing. You got nothing on Caleb. Caleb concept, boy. There we go. Alright, so you guys will go back to defending right here. Did this stuff get picked up? Um, no, it hasn't. I've been giving my guys too much to do. Uh, so I need to, like, let them... I, I can't do any more building, which is great. This is actually a good time because I got got a few minutes left on this video and um, I'm going to build my own place next video. But um, for now, they are just fine. And they're actually breaking out the wall like I wanted them to. They're probably going to get stuck up there, but, uh, you know, that's all right. That's all right. I'll get them down. Is that going in? I can't tell. Let's take a look. No, it's not. Come on. There we go. Alright, cool. So we're going to flatten this out. And I'm going to make some cool stuff in there if I can. <laughs> we'll see. Next video though, I am, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm thinking next video right here. I'm going to make a house for the cook. Wol Wolgar. Wolfgar, right? It's Wolfgar, right? Yeah, Wolfgar. I think you're getting a house next, buddy. Of course, it's going to be made by me, so it's not going to be as cool as the other houses. But, you know, we do what we can. All right, looking good. The farm's looking good. Everything's looking good. I gotta work on the wall, too. I just haven't had time. I just haven't had time. There's a lot of stuff over here, guys. You need to come over and get this. Wolfgar is cook level one. Very nice. Very nice. Um, was there something I wanted him to make that was higher level? I don't remember. Probably the oven, right? Yeah. We're gonna have you do one oven when you can. I'm just gonna make backup. Who cares? I can always sell them if I need to. If they're not if they're not useful. So. Alright, so they got the tree. Oh, invaders. Alright, hold on. Okay, so we got another bunch of these guys. So they're gonna come around here. They should meet our army right here. So why don't we go ahead and do that? And do this. And that should be fine. Come on, guys, get over there. The thing is, I don't, I'm not worried about my guys getting killed, but the thing is, if your guys are forced to run away, they get a, they get a, uh, an unhappiness buff. So. Alright, look at him taking some damage. Oh, he's healed. Oh, he's taking more damage. Alright, you know what? Let's get that second, uh, let's get that second cleric, right? Alright, so who is my second cleric? Change jobs. Cleric. There you go. Yeah, I mean, my guy's starting to take some damage now, so. I mean, it's not a lot of damage, but still. An extra cleric couldn't hurt, right? Here he comes. Here comes the second cleric. Get him. Nope, that's not the second cleric. Where's the second cleric? I don't know where he is. Probably sleeping or something. Uh, mysterious wolves in the forest. Get him before they get you and stuff like that. Um, oh, my second cleric might be up here, actually. All right, well that's fine. Let's um, let's set this up to to cut out. Uh, there we go. Okay, four, and then another set. 
There we go. Do your thing, guys. All right, they're not going to do their thing until these guys are dead because I have them on town alert, which is fine. Let's just speed this up. Okay, looking good. All right, guys, I think I'm going to call this one here. Next video, I'm really strongly thinking I'm going to make a building house uh, for the cook. So, all right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you next time, and until then, take it easy. Thank <laughs> you.